So today is Monday, which means it is International Chess Day. So I'm gonna show y'all the four biggest mistakes pretty much everyone makes at some point in time on chess day. So you can avoid potential injuries and grow a bigger chest. Let's get into it. Ah, oh, bro, bench press always hurts my shoulder. I don't even feel it in my chest. I can't relate. So, did you spot the difference between the two? If not, let me explain. Super common mistake that lifters make is benching with two flared of elbows. A really quick way to tell if you're doing this is if your armpit makes a 90 degree angle or if you're dumbbell bench pressing, the dumbbells are directly facing each other. Instead, you should aim to have an acute angle with your armpit, roughly 45 to 60 degrees of shoulder abduction, which should be right about halfway in between or slightly more flared than that. Wait, but wouldn't that be more triceps than chest? No, if you're allowing yourself to naturally arch and you're sticking between that 45 to 60 degrees of shoulder abduction, then this is still gonna be predominantly chest bicep. <sighs> 15. How many did you get? Seven. If you've ever seen some lifters doing super short erratic reps, or even more obvious than that, now going super deep on a bench press, then they are most certainly leaving gains on the table. Especially when it comes to the chest, because the chest is a muscle that benefits from stretch mediated hypertrophy. In practical terms, this essentially means that the chest will grow better if you allow it to get a good stretch when you're exercising. I'm not talking about static stretching in between sets. I'm talking about taking the chest through a full active range of motion during your set. Wait, but wouldn't going super deep on a bench press hurt your shoulder? No, not necessarily. If you addressed mistake one, so now you're benching with less flared elbows, and you're allowing yourself to naturally arch, you can definitely get a deeper range of motion safely than what you were doing before. Just avoid overdoing it and stay in your active range of motion. You can even try testing this out with lighter weight to see how deep you can comfortably get before actually just jumping into your work. Wait, but now I can only do six reps instead of 10, so I got weaker. Actually, you're not. You're just making the exercise harder and more effective for muscle growth than before. And you're gonna notice that as the weeks go by, you're gonna be able to get stronger with this new fuller range of motion. Now remember, without any action, you're pretty much getting nothing from this video. So at the very least, make sure you're going to the gym consistently. If you're new, rewatch those two previous points and really hone down on it, test it out with lighter weight. And if you want more overall guidance on your fitness goals, I highly recommend you apply to my exclusive online fitness coaching program, where I essentially take the guesswork out of your fitness goals and help you with pretty much anything that you need along the way, whether it be workout programming, nutrition advice, weekly check-ins, and even making sure you have good form when you're exercising. So if that sounds interesting to you, click the link in the description below and let's get to it. Ooh. Ooh, decent set. Man, I kind of fucked up my bicep though. If I wasn't all unstable and everything, I probably could have got a few more reps. Ooh. I can't relate. So this topic can be an entire video in itself. It's partly the reason why I make so many videos about doom flies, but cable flies are probably one of the most butchered exercises I see people do at the gym. But to avoid information overload, let me give you the two biggest mistakes when it comes to flies. Now the first common mistake I see is not getting a full range of motion for your chest. You see, when you're doing the fly, you wanna strain your arms on the concentric so you can get a better range of motion in the shortened position. When you go on the eccentric, you wanna puff your chest out to get a good stretch on your chest. And then the second mistake has more to do with your overall setup. Instead of keeping your feet together on a standing cable fly, take a staggered stance. Instead of having the cables at chest height, set the cables higher, lean forward, and this will mimic the same exercise, albeit in a much more stable position. <sighs> Ooh, man, this is my fifth chest exercise. I got such a good pump. How many do you do? I did two chest exercises today. Two exercises? I didn't expect to grow. Well, I'm still getting eight sets per muscle group per week, spread across two training sessions, so I think I should be good. So it's easy to think that the more sets, the better it is for muscle growth, but at a certain point, fatigue starts to set in and hinder your performance overall. So there's definitely a sweet spot for this. The catch-all advice for most natural lifters is eight to 20 sets per muscle group per week, 
spread across ideally two different training sessions. So despite the title of this video, having a dedicated chest day once per week might not be the best for hypertrophy. Wait, but what if I don't get as good of a pump? So a pump isn't a direct sign that you're growing the chest as best as you can. Instead, different workout factors such as training intensity, so how close you're training to failure, ideally two reps shy at least, as well as progressive overload, so making things harder over time, are better factors that directly impact muscle growth long term. And with that tip alone, I'd probably save y'all from a lot of wasted time. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you need protein power or creatine, my links are below, and consider using code PATH to support my page while getting a big discount. So now you guys should have a much better time growing your chest. So if you wanna see more videos just like this, consider hitting subscribe, hit the bell to get these notifications right to you. And also, don't forget to like the video, it really helps out. Peace.